guys so today I wanted to do a video a tutorial on this look and um, I just wanted to do something different something a little brighter and more out there I got this color from Makeup Forever um, this lipstick in number 15 and I really wanted to wear it but I wasn't sure how so um, I created this look and I wanted to share it with you guys um, yeah, so if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, please continue on watching. Mm -hmm. So first I'm going to start off with my brows and I'm going to do the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And uh, this is in the color Ebony. And first I'm going to start off with the brush that it comes with and the spoolie. And I'm going to go ahead and brush my, my eyebrows um, upward. And the other side is actually the pencil. And I'm just going to outline my eyebrows. Try to shape them. Next, I'm going to use uh, my Tarte. Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brown Mousse and this is in the color medium brown and I'm going to use my MAC uh, small angled uh, brow brush I'm going to go ahead and use my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, I don't even know brow duality and this is almost gone, so, but I like to use the matte camel on the side. So I go under my eyebrow and I try to shape it. <clears throat> and the last step for my brows is Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow Gel. And this is just a clear brow gel that I like to go over. So that they stay in place and I can brush them right. apply my uh, MAC Painterly, um, what is it, Pro Longwear Paint Pot and I'm just going to apply this all over um, my lid with my finger. I'm going to go ahead and use one of my MAC shadows. I honestly cannot remember what color this is, but it's this one right here and it's like a like a very nude almost like the painter like color but i want to use it just to smooth out the the color and i'm going to use my um real techniques blend essentials crease brush so i'm going to grab some of this and tap the excess and i'm just going to go over the crease of my eye it's just basically to smooth it out since it's practically the same color and make it more of a matte. Next, I'm going to add some shimmer to my eyes. Not glitter, just I'm going to use this MAC pigment and this one's called Vanilla. And it's just like a pretty got frosty white. And I'm going to use this uh, MAC angled brush, the 275. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just grab a little bit like this and apply it to the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to use my Inglot um, eyeliner gel and this is in the number 77 and the brush that I will be using is the Sephora pointed liner precision brush and number this is in the number 92 and so I'm just going to grab a little bit of this and I'm going to apply my liner. Go ahead 
going to use some wipes to clean up um, the, the fallout of the pigment and my eyeliner. What I like to do so I don't waste them, I just cut it. I just cut a small piece and I use that small piece for whatever area I need so I don't waste the whole thing. Wrap it around my finger and I just wipe around. I'm going to use my Lime Crime um, Aquitania palette and I'm going to use this purple right here which is called a Pearl Purple, which is this one right here. And I'm going to use my Duraline from Inglot and I'm just going to apply a very, very small dot on my hand like that. And I'm going to use this uh, liner brush from Coastal Scents. And I'm going to go over it like that. And I'm going to apply the purple. And to create liner, you can also use um, eye drops or Fix Plus for MAC. Whatever it is that you have. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline the bottom of my um, eye as eyeliner. And I'm going to start here. Next, I'm going to use that same um, napkin or that same wipe. And I'm going to go ahead and outline so I can shape it better. So I'll clean up with it. Next, I'm going to apply my mascara, and this is the Maybelline Big Eyes, and this part is for the top lashes, so I'm just going to apply some of that. Continue with that, I'm going to apply some eyeliner, and I'm using the BH Cosmetics Waterproof Eyeliner, and this is in the color Onyx. So I'm going to apply it in my, on my waterline, and... Um, And then I'm going to continue with mascara and I'm going to apply to the bottom lashes. That's why I love this one there because it has for the bottom lashes as well. Um, I'm going to apply some false lashes and these are by House of Lashes and they are called a Siren. I'm going to use the House of Lashes glue. Um, I love how this smells so the flowery scent to it. And it does last all day. It's kind of like the duo um, eyelash adhesive. And so I'm just, I like it because it comes with the brush applicator. So it makes it a lot easier than making a, making a mess with the, with the tube. And then I'm going to go over with some mascara at the tip of the lashes so that they actually stand up more. And there you go. And then now moving on to the face, I'm going to apply my favorite moisturizer, which I already had this. First, I started out with this Benefit um, small kit that I got at Ulta. And I actually fell in love with it. It came with the with the moisturizer, the the cleanser, toner, eye cream. It came with everything, and it came with this as well, which is like a day cream. It has SPF in it, and it's a triple performing uh, facial emulsion emulsion oil free cream. And I really like this. I like to wear it under my foundation because it's not dry. It's actually very moisturizing, but it's not dewy looking. And it has SPF, so when I go outside, it protects me from the sun. Even though a lot of foundations already have SPF, but if you don't happen to have it, have one with it, then it's good to always have this. And I apply some to my face. And 
And I, sh I have one coming in on the way, so can't wait for it because this one's almost done. So be careful with your eye makeup and you want to apply this. And next, the primer that I have been obsessing over is this Per Minerals Correcting Primer. It's a dark spot corrector, but the reason that I love it so much, this is a small sample as well because I got the three samples for $19, which I thought was really good so I could try them out. And I like this because it has like a skin tone to it, kind of like foundation, so it helps cover, it helps with more of the coverage, like if you have freckles or dark spots like this one, um, it really helps give another layer of like color and it helps uh, reduce reduce it as well supposedly so but i really like it so we'll see next the foundation that i'm going to use is the kat von d um lock it tattoo foundation and i am in love with this foundation because it has amazing coverage it does not crack and like it doesn't crack in between your face because it's so it like it doesn't feel heavy either it's like the perfect uh, mix of foundation and this is in the color uh, medium 54. They have a lot of shades as well. So I'm just gonna apply some here. And the brush that I'm gonna use is from Japanesque. Japanesque, and this is the number 344, and I love it because it's pointing. So you can get in every angle, in every corner with it. For concealer, I'm going to go ahead and use, um, sorry, I'm getting comfortable, I'm going to use the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer and this is in the color CW2 and I'm going to apply this under my eyes, being careful with my purple liner and I'm going to make a V shape with it. Like so. And I'm going to basically use this to cover my dark circles and also highlight at the same time. I will highlight with it. Like so. Okay, and I am going to use my Ben I Cameo Luxury Powder to go over and to set it. And I'm going to use my Beauty Blender as well. MAC uh, Bronzer from the Re Love Rihanna Bronzing Powder. This is my NARS brush in number 21. This is my ultimate favorite brush for contouring. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some. And I'm going to start off where my ear is, direction um, towards my mouth, I guess. And I'm going to start a line here. And I'm going to use the same powder that I have here to blend it out. And I'm going to grab a tiny little bit and I'm going to do my forehead. So whatever I have left over as well, I'm just going to go under my chin to contour um, powder to my face, the Too Faced uh, it's called Primed and Poreless, and it's a skin smoothing primer, and it's uh, basically clear. It doesn't have any color to it, but I like it because it doesn't make the pores, the foundation on my pores sink in, and to me that looks gross, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this. And I just got this It Cosmetics brush that I am in love with. I had to get it. And this one, I believe it's called the Heavenly Jumbo Powder Brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just swirl this around. And I'm just going to go over my makeup since it's translucent, so it doesn't affect it in any way. And now for blush, I'm going to use the MAC um, Unconventional and Frost Powder Blush. 
this is what it looks like and I'm gonna use this Coastal Scents um, blush brush it's an angled brush and I'm gonna apply this to my cheekbones now to finish off with my face I'm gonna use this mineralized max skin finish porcelain pink um, highlight to give it more of a go I'm gonna go ahead and prime them with the Too Faced lip insurance and I'm gonna apply this to my lips And the color that I'm going to be using today is from Makeup Forever, and I just got this. I fell in love with this color. It's completely bright, and it's different. It's in the color number 15, Rogue Artist Intense. And this is what it looks like. It's like the prettiest, most extreme purple. I love it. It has like a shimmer to it. And this is what I'm going to finish my look with. I hope that you guys enjoyed the look and I hope that you guys can subscribe to my channel and like my video. Um, if you have any questions on any of the products, please comment down below. Any suggestions, please do the same. And thank you guys so much for watching.